So I want to make a nightgown for my daughter, a summer nightgown. Have I done this before? No. Am I gonna use a pattern? No. Am I gonna take you along for the process and hopefully have it all turn out okay? Hopefully, yes, right? Which color of this did you want? There's a pink and a blue. There's a white and an ivory. There's a purple. No, sorry, there's a yellow. There's a minty green. And there's an aqua. Which color? Ah, yeah. Aqua? This one down here? Here at my office, you probably hear the sound machine in the background because sweet girl is napping. <laughs> Bitter sweet girl. Right now it is all the sweetness because I got like no sleep last night. Daisy, poor thing, has a runny nose and we were at party together for about four hours last night. So I am running on all the coffee, trying to just put one foot in front of the other. A good day. There's other stuff, there's plenty of other things I need to do today, right? Of course, the little bit of opportunity I had to sleep last night. I'm laying in bed trying to fall asleep and I'm thinking about these nightgowns and like the design of this and how this should come together and do this and that. Running on fumes today. So I want to get this out of my mind and just put down on paper. Let's pull out the fabrics. This is like, I, I see it being all the gathers, like all wispy. I am going to take like a playbook from the baby land and go from there. So now what I'm going to do, just so I can get it out of my mind and do the things today that I really needed to do, as I'm going, oops, as I'm going to try, Let's see if I can get this to copy image and nope. What the heck? Come on, buddy. Why won't copy image? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of put the thoughts down. So this would be the fabric, and I'm thinking along with this, using this ribbon. I think that would be like a great way to tie up the neckline since I want it to have all the gathers and everything. Not exactly sure on the width just yet. I'm thinking maybe either either like a half an inch or an inch. What's my decision? I don't know. I'm like three quarters would have been it, right? <laughs> of course, I want the one that's not there. Let's just go with an it. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with half an inch. All right, add to cart. Get a picture of that so we don't forget. And I just sketch this. I want to do something where it goes like this, then it has the sleeves. Oh, this is rough. Ooh, like that hem? Like that side seam right there? And it has, ooh, a hem like that. And then it's gonna have the sleeves and go back. So I'm sort of taking this from Babyland. But I'm gonna have this be oversized, this little head hole. <laughs> this is such, this is so crude. Just off my mind and I can move on with the rest of my day. <laughs> so, we are starting summer night gowns. I am very excited about this. I hope it all works out and we will see what happens. So, I brought one of these dress forms home from the office because I think this is gonna be very simple. We'll see, but I am not gonna use a pattern with this. I am gonna walk you through the process so you can do one of your own. And I think this is just gonna be so, so fun. And um, yeah, it's warming up around here and this will just be a good summer nightgown. And it's kind of a trial run for a nightgown that I want for myself. So here's my thought. This is Swiss muslin. That's a bit of it. <laughs> Swiss muslin from Farmhouse Fabrics, of course. And this is in the color aqua. This is a very flowy, lovely fabric. Uh, yes, they call it Swiss muslin. Some people also call it um, fairy, angel fairy fabric, something or other. Angel fabric, fairy fabric, something. It's very light and flowy. And it's just like, 
which she wanted to sleep in for summer, right? It's also lovely for baby gowns. I've used it for a number of baby gowns in the, well, of course in the past. I can't use it in the future, can I? Anywho. <laughs> So I've got that and I also have the, um, this ribbon and the, the color pairs really well together. So I've got this polyester satin ribbon in two different widths and I have my fabric that I have pre-washed. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of two big rectangles and I'm thinking of joining them at the side seams using French seams. And then I'm a little not sure where to go from there. Should it be this ribbon? This is much, must be what I thought of because I'd have way less of it. Is that what I thought of? I know I was wanting to use one for the sleeves and one for the neckline. I've got way more of this ribbon. What was I thinking? No. Oh, when you have so much going on. I really should reference my notes. All right, my notes don't say. So, hmm, what was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's first just get our rectangles together. Alrighty, so to kick things off, yes, I am pre-washing this fabric. So I take this to my laundry room, which has become a makeshift greenhouse this year, and I run it through a quick wash cycle followed by a regular dry cycle. I get lots of questions about pre-washing. I'm not ready to dive into it, but for this project, I am pre-washing her. The result is this lovely airy fabric with some wrinkles. So no, I haven't ironed it from the dryer. This is just directly from the dryer, but I kind of think they're precious. Maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. So I measure those two rectangles, place a clip mark, and rip the two main rectangles from the yardage of fabric. From there, I clear off my workspace. Clean space, clean mind. I definitely follow that motto. It's been a little while since I sat down to sew over here, and it feels so good. It always feels so good, right? Knocking off that dust, figuratively and literally, <laughs> after a sewing break and getting back to things. Just getting those creative juices flowing and getting back into the motions, and it just feels good. That's the startup sound it makes when it hasn't been ironed, been ironing for a while. We haven't ironed, been ironing since Easter. And yes, I wish I had a full size ironing board, but we make do and we're happy with what we have. After ironing those rectangles out, I join them using French seams. I love the idea of French seams here with this sheer fabric since those seams will be a little bit visible through this dress. And I think there's something so pretty and authentic about that whole vibe. Maybe it's just my crazy self, I don't know. Can anyone else relate to this? It's just a feeling, right? Y'all get it? Do you get it? Anywho. I've been up since 1.30. No, I've been up since 1. Last night, I was up since something. Don't mind the whole thing. But I have a big loop of fabric now. Isn't that fun? Um, so at this point, I've got my French seams in the side and I think, well, no, I know I need to draw her up somehow. And um, I'm still thinking that that whole ribbon thing is going to work out pretty well. So I'm going to put a casing in the top. I'm hoping I have a, a loop the right way. I think I do. <laughs> That'd be bad, right? Have one fabric witch washy, which would not put it past me right now in my state of mind. So, um, but yeah, I need to draw this up. So it'll be a neckline and not like that. <laughs> Hi. So, um, yesterday, I am a whole new person today than when you saw me yesterday. I got up from my machine because turns out I 
So I thought I did it wrong, then I did it right. Um, the French seams, so I've got the, these two layers, you know, these two things of fabric that I have now sewn together as one tube. I had the French seams both facing the right way, and then I thought I had them facing the wrong one, so I actually cut one out and redid it, and then I discovered that I had one, 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 one the other way, I said, forget it, I need some sleep. Mama needs some sleep. So, hi, I'm a new person now. Um, got some sleep. And I am going to fix this. Did I already fix it? Hold on, wait. Here's my tube. Did I do that already? I don't remember doing that. Were they not? I'm confused. I also realized I need some arm things. So we're gonna get to it. To create those arm things, you can either go the sleeveless route or you can put in some sleeves. I know, brilliant, right? <laughs> I debated quite a bit between those options, but I eventually landed on some fluffy sleeves. First, I need to create an arm size, so I try to use my French curve, but I do not have enough space, so I'm just sketching it freehand. It is not a big deal. You can do this too. Just don't overthink things, and I think that's true with so many things in life. Just show up with a good attitude and don't overthink it right we can do this we can do from there i laid both side seams on top of each other to create those arms eye things as i mentioned i decided on doing some sleeves so i'm drafting up those suckers you can either go this route of using tools like you know the curve and straight edges to get your sleeve some sort of shape like this or you can use the curves already established in your dress again don't overthink things just lay her down trace her out it's all good so next, I join the sleeve together using French seams, and then I add the whole shebang to the dress. And again, you do this using French seams. And at this point, the dress is becoming one big mess of fabric. So let's tackle the casing for the ribbon so things can get drawn up into a nice, neat package, shall we? So now we have sleeves, and so here's gives you guys a visual of what's going on. Um, so you can see here is one sleeve. That that's one, like so drapey and flowy and all that stuff. So we can have one sleeve here, and then. Yes, other sleeve here, and this fabric allows for so many gathers. I mean, most of the time you get into talking, or like when you talk, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about ratios and gathers and things like that sort. Most of the time, a 2x, 2.5x is more or less, you know, kind of like your typical gathers. But because this fabric is so lightweight and all of that, you can get away with a lot more gathers. So this is all going to be, right? Are you seeing? I'm trying to, I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm trying to make sure it's like, now obviously the gathers are going to be some flavor evenly distributed. So they're going to be all the way around, but you can see how this square comes together like this. And we're gonna have that, um, this ribbon I was wondering earlier, I think I should have ordered like a full yard because I forget about the whole bow thing. So, I don't know if I should just make this work. I'm thinking no, because I want her to be comfortable. So, I think I'm going to use this instead. One day I really hope to have my mind back, but that day is not today and it's not going to be tomorrow. So. You think about having like a bow sort of thing situation and I'm gonna have, uh, you know, put in buttonholes for this to go through. I guess they're not buttonholes, they're ribbon holes. I need to get out more. So I need some sort of length and I want this to be long, just like fun, you know? She can draw this up on her own and tie the bow and it can just be 
However, tight up on the neck. It's just a very forgiving sort of pattern. And then it's just loose and flowy. And I want one for myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, doesn't it look just like so dreamy to sleep in? Right? Anyhow, so I'm gonna put a casing up here and the casing's gonna be wide enough for this ribbon to go around. I just had another like whole thought of this ribbon and embellishments and the beaded trim number would be really fun because then you could take this in and out of, okay, squirrel. Anywho, so I'm gonna put a casing at the top, fold this down about a quarter of an inch and then again, about, well, an inch, so this can go through and um, do that. Oh, this is so fun. So fun. All right, so when it comes to doing the sleeves, then I. Do, 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 do. How, how around do you think her arm is? Less than my arm. Let's say maybe, I don't know. Oh, if she was here, she's not here. Okay, so I've got, maybe I can put these on the sleeve because I have, oh, I do have a whole yard of this. So I have 18, this will work out then because we'll have enough leeway. Okay, so we'll make this work on the sleeve. So we can just fold this in half, ish. I've been filming, oh, that's just, that just turned off. I'm getting used to this other camera. So, okay, so we got this in half and we can maybe fake a ribbon. I'd love to like do something. Now on to the hemming. First, I fold up the bottom edge about quarter of an inch all the way around the sleeves and then another inch or so to give that deep hem look at the bottom of the sleeve. And I think I like the top of the sleeve being gathered a little bit would be pretty for this nightgown. Kind of a soft floppy bell shape that would fit the whole vibe of where this is headed. So I initially think of an idea of putting in some buttonholes so I can weave the ribbon in and out and then tie the two pieces of ribbon together in the bow at the center. But I changed my mind and scrapped that idea. Something about, you know, 14 buttonholes. <laughs> <laughs> My next idea is to use some eighth inch wide elastic on the top portion, which seems much more appealing than doing some 14 sewn hand sewn buttonholes as a busy mama. <laughs> so I run that through my machine and then I put a bow on the outside, just a mock bow, you know, but it's still so pretty and there's just something about bows that smile back at you. Am I crazy? Maybe not. I don't know. They just smile back at you. There's a pretty little polished edge. I don't know. Finishing. So next, I finish off the dress with a four inch wide deep hem and I add those hand sewn buttonholes with some silk buttonhole twist so I can use this ribbon to draw out the neckline and voila, we've got a precious nightgown that this sweet girl wants to live in. Seriously, it's become a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Need a fast, gorgeous option for the new baby in your life? This is an easy, super, super easy, but gorgeous baby bonnet that makes into a wonderful heirloom gift. So go check it out. You will have her sewn up in a hurry and you can make it for around $20 or maybe even less. Go check out this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.